Hey there, Marcus Hutzel here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the problem I had with part of my Suray Traveler 5C braking with just about a year of use and not a lot of use either. So a lot of people commented on my other two videos where I talk about this tripod specifically and where I talk about this tripod when I decided to buy it versus the Peak Design Travel tripod. A lot of naysayers out there saying, you know, oh, why would you do that? It's cheap, it's gonna break. You know, how dare you buy a lightweight travel tripod that fits your needs? And you know, I was like, you know, whatever. We can all buy what we want. Um, this wasn't exactly cheap. I wouldn't call $100 cheap for a, a tripod. It may be cheap compared to, you know, your Sackler or other video tripods. But again, we're talking about something I can carry around hiking. So naysayers, just go ahead and get your little comment pad out below and make a comment. But I wanna talk about the problem. So the problem I had was that one of the legs wouldn't um, retract at one point. And as you can see, it actually won't retract either. Detract, retract, it won't pop out. And so I decided to, you know, take it apart real quick. And if you take one of the good legs apart, what you'll find is that at the top of each, each uh, section of the legs, you'll find these little plastic pieces here that sit on top of each of the leg sections. So what I found was that one of these little plastic pieces actually broke you can see it has its two halves. And when these were once together, these would sit on top of one of the leg sections. So if I take out the broken leg section, this broken one used to sit right on top of this section right here. And this little shim, I guess they call it, does a couple of things. Number one, it, it keeps the leg from coming all the way out like this one did. So once it's inserted, it keeps the leg from popping out so that when you uh, undo this, they, they stop right there. And I think the other thing it does is it just provides a little bit of uh, a slip so that the legs go in and out easily. Well, you can see that that one broke. And yeah, I was like, well, that's not great. Uh, I had the thing for less than a year and it broke on me. However, the good news is that I reached out to Sure, Surui, however you say their name, here in the States, uh, I went on their website and sent an email and they got back to me within about 30 minutes. And I, I explained the problem. I was like, you know, do you sell replacements? And they sent me a single replacement for free. You can purchase them directly from them. You can purchase these little shims directly from Sure if you want. They sent me another one. Now each one of the leg sections has a different size. And the one that broke on me was the 16 millimeters. It's got a little 016, so that was the same measurement as the broken one. You can see the broken one here, and it's got the 16 millimeter. And if we take out each leg section, we have a different size shim for each leg section. And those sizes are 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 16 millimeter, and this is the size that broke on me, and 19 millimeter. And if you look closely, this 19 millimeter is cracked right there and it's cracked right there. So this one's probably gonna break on me soon as well. So that one broke and they sent me a new one, one single plastic shim in the mail, but it's the right size. So when you take the leg off, you gotta be aware when you put this back together, a, a little piece fell out, but that's okay. We know where it goes. So you've got this little piece and then you've got, of course, the lock nut that goes on. Uh, this piece needs to kind of fit in the lock nut. So if this goes towards the top of the leg, I found that if this pops out, it's easier to push it in from the bottom so that it sits nice and flush. Right there, you can see it's spinning. All right, then carefully take your leg without the new shim, put it back through, put your new shim on the end and you can see that the shim has these little internal divots and those divots line up with those little holes on the leg right there. So they slide in and they keep it from spinning around the leg. So once you've got those back in place, then you can put this back in and the little shim has these little uh, open ridges on the side and that actually helps it find the proper groove inside. You gotta find your groove for the leg to go inside. So there, if you spin it right, it'll line up and then it will slide in. Tighten the uh, nut back down, and then we have 
a repaired leg. So why did it break? Is it something uh, prone to souray or anything really? I mean, it, it's a plastic piece. It's a fairly thin plastic piece. I'm a little disappointed that this is all that it took to uh, make my leg not be able to extend or retract. And this really doesn't unfortunately give me much faith in the longevity of the Souray Traveler 5C if these are prone to breaking so easily, um, especially since you're going to need to extend and retract the legs quite a bit over the life of this or any tripod. Now, are any other tripods gonna have plastic? Yeah, I'm going to bet almost every single tripod you buy, travel tripod or otherwise, has got some piece of plastic on it that's going to break. I am disappointed it only broke within a, a little more than a year of owning this tripod, but it's fixed. They sent me the part for free. All I had to do was provide my receipt where I bought it, which I'd saved because I bought it from Amazon. And now I'm back in business, which is good because I'm going on another vacation and I wanted to take this and I seem to be good to go. So uh, maybe be careful with how fast and hard you push those legs in when you're done. I know that when I was out and about and I wanted to get going, I would definitely like slam them and you can see where that shim was placed. It's possible I just slammed it too hard too many times and uh, broke it, but you know, is what it is. It's fixed, they fixed it for free. They sent me the part for free. Uh, took about a week to get here and um, that's it, tripod's fixed. So, uh, naysayers, go ahead and comment of how you were right, it's gonna break, and that's okay. I'll continue using my Traveler 5C uh, and taking some good photos and video and speaking to the camera somewhat badly at times, that's okay. Anyway, that's it. I hope this video helped and showed you if you do have a problem with one of your legs, extending or retracting on the Suray Traveler 5C or any other similar uh, tripod leg like that. I mean, you know, take it apart, do a little investigation. And if it's a Suray uh, tripod, go on their website, email them, let them know the problem and see if they can help you. See y'all later.